So we've just witnessed the unveiling of the plaque just behind me here and it's all in honour of the donation for the funds for the Sun Canopy here at the Mike Halewood Centre at the TT Grandstand. James Carrington sadly lost his life at the Southern 100 races in 2018 and this is all in honour of his friends, family and supporters and what a beautiful unveiling it was. So uh, ladies, uh, ladies and gentlemen, on behalf of the Mike Halewood Foundation, thank you very much for uh, turning up. Uh, a special welcome to Janet, to James's dad, Fran, and to James's partner, Chloe. Uh, we're delighted that you could all come along and share this uh, moment for us. Uh, of course, um, James was uh, somebody very special to the Hayward Foundation, particularly to our founding member, uh, Adrian Earnshaw, uh, who sadly died recently. But uh, James was one of Adrian's favourites, uh, and, 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 and he thought the world of him. Um, that uh, relationship with James and the Halewood Foundation started back in 2012, when James first rode in the Max Grand Prix Newcomers race. Um, and of course, he, he won the Newcomers class at sea. But what was sort of special about that is that a lot of riders would win the newcomers race and then go straight to the TT the following year. But uh, James came back to the Grand Prix for a second year uh, and came within a gnat's whisker of winning the um, junior race and just missed it. And then the following year went to the TT. And in his first TT, of course, he finished third. Uh, so to go to a TT and finish on the podium with your first attempt is really something special uh, and that became a bit of a benchmark for us uh, and it's something that we were, uh, of course, James's family were immensely proud of but for us, uh, the Hayward Foundation that leads into supporting upcoming riders, that, that was the benchmark and that was the way that we, it's the counting way, that's the way of going about things. Um, so, just as everybody in Driffield, East Yorkshire, was immensely proud of James, uh, the Hayward Foundation, we were, we were obviously very proud of him as well. Um, and of course James went on to uh, races in the Irish National Road Races, uh, the Southern 100, uh, and then of course he scored his first international <coughs> in the Northwest 200. Um, and uh, he was a all round, absolutely smashing guy. Um, there's some other people here today that I know who have been in a similar situation to Fran, uh, and Chloe, and Jana, and have spoken, spoken to me because they've lost somebody in similar circumstances. Uh, they've spoken to me about grief and the difficulty of grief. Uh, and they say that the grief and the pain of losing somebody it doesn't get any less, it doesn't diminish. You just learn to live with it. You learn to, to, to cope with that. So I'm sure for us, when we think about people in this situation, uh, you're always in our thoughts. Um, some people outside of the road racing world might wonder why, why would you want to be involved in racing? Uh, well, for me, there's two, two reasons I always think of. Number one is that if it wasn't for road racing, I never would have met James. Um, I never would have met any of you guys. I never would have known what James achieved. I never would have met him. And secondly, as a, as a young competitor myself, several years ago, I remember how important road racing is and I would have given anything to be. Uh, uh, what I did, I was competing on a TT course, and that was, that was everything to me. Um, so, um, that's why it's great to be involved with an association like the Hayward Foundation who does everything it can to support the, 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 the young riders making their way on the mountain course. So I'd like to pass over to Chloe but I thought just, uh, just before we do that we might just spend a moment just to reflect quietly on what James meant to all of us.
Thank you. So, Chloe would like to maybe say a few words. Hi. Um, as you all know, I'm, whew, I promised him I wouldn't cry today. <laughs> um, I'm James's partner of um, 12 years. It's been a roller coaster. Um, the last four years have been up and down. Um, but James absolutely lived for racing. He would never have done anything else other than race a motorbike. Um, and you would say the same, wouldn't you, Fran? Yeah. He would have done it without us. He would have done it with, a, with, with the team or without us. Um, obviously, myself, Fran, Janet, Neil, a lot more people at home, everyone. Um, now run the race team in memory of James. Uh, we have Dominic Herbertson on board um, and he's doing absolutely fantastic. He's doing us proud. He's doing James proud um, and we couldn't thank him enough for what he's done. Um, I'd also like to say thank you to the Mike Hillwood Foundation. Uh, they've been incredible. Um, thank you Dave to get, for getting in touch and going ahead with Adrian Hairjaw's uh, proceeds with the plaque. Things. It's, it's been really nice, thank you so much. It means a lot to have James at the TT Grandstand with us always now. Um, as well as down at the Southern 100, Rachel, George, you've all been absolutely incredible with us. Thank you so much. And the fact that we can still return to the island without hating it, but still loving it, is absolutely incredible. And the love that we get as a family and as a team is just incredible, so thank you all so much. It means the absolute world to us all. Thank you.